what's good fam it's your boy Devin back with another video and we're gonna be uh looking at jubilee do all white people think the same about race now i'm pretty curious to see about this shit all right so uh we about to get right into it but before we do Subscribe, yes, subscribe to the channel. Hit the post notification bell. Click on all so you don't know when I upload each and every video. All right, let's get it. I don't know. Halloween is just like a weird holiday to be dressing up as anybody else's culture. You can say the same thing about any costume. Are you gonna tell a six-year-old girl that she can't dress up like a pirate because she doesn't know the history of pirates? Like oh, that's very good. I can tell this about to get fucking weird. <laughs> We're all technically white. Yeah. If you're from England, if you're from Australia, if you're from wherever, South Africa. You know, we all have these crazy places we come from and these people are around and we get those ideas from those people. But that doesn't mean us as a whole have no culture. But as a white person, it's not really a culture. You can have culture like I'm hella Irish, obviously, and that's a culture. But the, just being white is not a it's it's not a culture. I can't relate to you just because you're white. I think you can say that for any ethnicity, though. If we were all black, could I relate to you guys? If just because of the color of our skin? Yes, because they go through very similar experiences. Like they'll get discriminated against, and you're not getting discriminated against because of your skin color. They can both relate to that. But I also mm. feel like with culture, we branch out, we try different things, we want to do different things. So maybe we've lost a little bit of our culture. Maybe we're creating a new culture. <laughs> there you go. I don't know what that is. We can explain. Okay, what is it? I'll stay here. So that Reverse racism is like someone being racist against you because you are white. Like, do you believe that someone can be racist against a white person? Oh, wow. Yeah. I grew up where it was completely like Hispanic culture. I was constantly made fun of because I was white. Oh, white people can't dance. White people look stupid, whatever. They shouldn't say white people can't dance, but I, they, they can't dance. No, yeah, I can't they dance. Say just putting that out there. But I mean, like, being honest, though, like, they would say those mean things to me and, and more hurtful things than that. It's like a hard pill to swallow because if I turned around and said black people can't dance, I'd get hell for that. But then if someone says the same words to me, it's somehow okay because you have to look at the difference of it, though. And I relate to you. I grew up with all Latino or black friends. I had very few white friends. And, yeah, I got made fun of for being, like, the white girl I was growing up. And I didn't take offense to it because the huge part about racism is that there is hate and oppression behind it. And as a white person in america i do not feel oppressed and i definitely think that we should take the log out of our own eyes before worrying about the sawdust and other people's like i totally agree with that but there is sawdust so that's kind of what just what i'm saying for me i feel like anything we do can come out racist to any other type of race but at the same time if they say something mean or racist to us that we feel is racist it kind of gets brushed off i i think of the word racism i think more towards oppression so that's why i'm in the disagree like, I'll deal with someone just being mean to me, but whatever. He said he gonna take that to the chest. I think it's important to focus on race in order to bring us together. There is a race issue in America, and if we just avoid it altogether and pretend like it's not happening, nothing's going to change in my opinion. I kind of was thinking about the question differently because if all I'm thinking about when I meet someone is, oh, I'm white and she's not white and I'm white and she's not white, like, that for me, that's, like, what focusing on race is. Yeah, we're never going to be happy unless we just, like, 
all work together just to, like, treat each other like each other. You know, like, there is no race. Yeah, and that, that sounds great, but it's like we're not there. We're not there. I feel like people who have that perspective might also say, like, oh, I don't see color or try not, you know, try to have that attitude. I don't think that helps anybody. I think we need to, like, to respect each other's backgrounds, and, like, that is only going to happen if, if we, we do see color. We do, <coughs> like, appreciate everybody's differences. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, I think cultural appropriation is very real. You see all the time, like Coachella, you know, we're in LA and you see people in the Native American headdresses without knowing how important that is to Native people. Yeah, exactly. I think there's a difference between respecting the culture and completely disrespecting the culture. But then also, if you want to dress up on Halloween like a, a geisha, because you like the costume, you think it's a beautiful costume. That, I wouldn't say is... I wouldn't do that. I think if you're going to go and dress up as a gay show without knowing the importance of it and just being like, well, this is cute, like, I'm going to put this on. And also, even if you did know the importance and you're like, I don't know, Halloween is just like a weird holiday to be dressing up as anybody else's culture. You can say the same thing about any costume. Are you going to tell a six-year-old girl that she can't dress up like a pirate because she doesn't know the history of pirates? Like, oh, that's very different. Well, so it's, it's just like... That's very different. Those are, those are children. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a lot about intention. Because I think it wearing is. that thing at Coachella, like, I feel like I would see that as that person mocking someone. Well, even if they don't intentionally mean it, it's yeah. still offensive. If you're by yourself... Somewhat disagree? You better. The only reason I'm at somewhat disagree is because a lot of my favorite rappers use it frequently. Like if I'm listening to my favorite Childish Gambino song, which drops it like a hundred times, oh, I, I know, so you know that it's like I'm not sitting there thinking all these horrible things about black people, and I'm like, it's just in the song, and when I'm singing, it comes out. There's like two different forms of the word. There ends with an er and with an a. And, like, with my friends, they're like, oh, you can say it with an A. Like, that won't hurt my feelings. That's what people told me. But also, like, even when I'm in the car by myself, like, I still feel like it's not my place. Yeah. Maybe I'll, like, whisper it, like, with an A at the end, you know, like, if I'm by myself. But, like, out of the respect for other people, I, I just think it's more appropriate not to say it at all. Do you guys think rappers should stop putting it in their songs? No. I feel like if they were african if you think it's wrong, though, what? I don't think it's wrong because the history of the N-word come you know slave owners would call black people as the n-word with the hard r at the end if black people want to take that word and claim it as their own and claim that that painful history and like be like f you like i'm gonna claim this word i think they should be allowed to do that i don't think as a white person i have that right to take a word that was derogatory towards them they should 100 percent have the right but, to do that but do you think it's okay for a white person to sing the song See, that's where that. we're, like, all on the fence. It's like, I feel like it's, really... it's just, it's a word used as, like, uh, my friend, basically. And, like, just like she said, if they want to take that back from its horrible origins, then I'm totally fine with that. But as, as a white person, you can't say that word without a feeling a certain way. Yeah, so but I, I have a question. I don't... If you, if they didn't put it in their songs, you wouldn't say it, right? <clears throat> No, yeah, so are they causing people to say that word more often? Because she wouldn't say it. If it's it wasn't not white people's it. place to tell them what they can and cannot <laughs> use. <so>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see how many y'all. Yeah. Three, two, one. It's so sad to say, because I never say it out loud, but it's the truth, is like getting pulled over by the police. I always feel like I have a little bit of a one-up because yeah. I'm white. Because a I'm a little woman. bit. And I feel so bad that that's the truth, but <clears throat> this is a real thing and it's unfortunate. For me, as an individual, I feel like I'm not privileged. Sure, like, white people background came from, like, being higher up on the scale, but I've gone through really hard things before. You know, I don't feel like I'm superior over other people. So as an individual, I don't feel like I'm privileged. I think privileged, I guess, I don't really think that I'm above other people. I just think that naturally I'm treated differently. Yeah, it's like yeah, perception. That, it's just perception. Yeah, I think that's a huge mis misconception. I have privilege that i didn't ask for it's just society sees me as like the standard 
for whatever reason, and because of that, I get treated differently. And um, white privilege, you know, like you said, it's not about what you've gone through or what you experience. It's a hundred percent how the world sees me. The complex of what it takes. So I think, like, guiltily, like, I'm, like, happy that I'm not oppressed, but I'm not proud of, like, things people have done in the past. When I, when I think of being proud of something, I think of something I worked for, or that, um, I, yeah, I had, to get, I, I had to do nothing to be white. Absolutely nothing, and nothing was taken from me because I was white. It's like saying, I'm a proud white person is a completely different saying than saying I'm a proud black person. Because when you hear I'm a proud black person, I think empowerment, I think strength, I think courage, I think, you know, all these amazing proud things white that black person, community proud has done and all throughout shit. the years. <clears throat> but then when you say I am a strong, or I'm a proud white person, already there's so much, like, hate involved in that. The thing about that is, like, like how you said, someone who says I'm proud to be black, that's empowerment. Why aren't I allowed to be proud to be white? What makes it wrong? Yeah, what are you proud of? Just your skin color? Because yes, that is wrong. So you're so saying I, I, I can't be proud to be white because I don't have a culture? No, I, <laughs> that's not what I'm saying. It's that I, when white people say they're proud to be white, a lot of times, at least in my opinion, they're just they're talking about their skin color, that they're not a different race. I think that's wrong. Yeah. But um, as like we were talking about, as a proud black person, they've been oppressed that a lot of their culture was stolen from them. And a lot of the reasons that I don't like proud to be white is because it has the, the Nazis used it. The, the, the KKK used it. I don't want to be associated with any of those things. So I'm just going to completely stay away from that. Sure, I'm not proud of like what my culture has done. But at the same time, like I would not want to be anything else. If I had to choose another race, I don't know what I would be. I'm okay with where I am, even though I'm getting backlash about being white. Well, all right then. <laughs> I'm proud to be black. Okay. But, um, it was actually cool to hear their thoughts. Um, I mean, the video spoke for itself. I mean, like, no, you're not supposed to say the N-word. If you're by yourself, you're a lot more safe. Regardless if they do say it in the song, I would recommend you to not say it. But that's uh, all I'm going to say right there, man. You know? Make sure y'all like the video, comment down below, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Peace, love, blessings. See y'all in the next video. And uh, just for the record, if y'all want me to elaborate more on such thing, oh, please do not hesitate to ask that question. <laughs> And this is another thing. If I just so happen to lose subscribers for it because I'm proud of what I am, it's whatever then. The real ones will be there with me. That's all I'm going to say. The real folks will be there with me. That appreciate me. That appreciate who I am. Who I truly am. And uh, yeah. That's it. That is what it is. So, I'm signing off. All right, I'll let y'all in the next video.